right, all three boards are done. Um, the time took about 11 minutes. I'm going to try and hopefully I figured out how to speed that up, a time lapse on the video editing software. Um, so we've got the 2x4, uh, the 4x4, four four, four and the 6x6. Six six. Um, this 2x4 on this block right here, you'll notice, let me get my pointer, um, over here on the end, these two little these two little nubs on this block. Um, some of the things we're going to build are actually going to be a suspension bridge with the uh, with the wooden planks, and a uh, line is going to tie onto each one of these rocks, and then go over to another similar setup, and we'll tie on there, and then the uh, the wooden planks will go on that string and go across. On this board right here, you'll notice the uh, the spot in the middle. Um, this is where we're going to put a couple wooden planks to step across, just a kind of a terrain terrain feature. Um, the corners down here, you know, where there's extra stuff. When it's all dried, you can trim that off. Uh, the spots that have the larger gaps in here. Um, I've seen a couple pictures where people have played around putting stuff down in there. You know, uh, one of the I don't think I have it on one of these tiles out here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, like, if you look right up in here, there's uh, some bones and some skeleton stuff, and, you know, there's some different items littering the floor. So I may try and play around. I have tons of woodland scenic stuff and, you know, try and, you know, spruce these little spots up a little bit, you know, for to add some extra, extra stuff to the board. But those are the three tiles. Um, I'm going to reproduce all the rest of these off camera and uh, uh, when you come back next week I sh when I I should have this is this gold myself everything cast whether I'll have all the boards built I don't believe so I may take and um, if we look at our project over here uh, you know we got we got the L shapes that we have to do. We're going to have the T intersections. And so next week I may finish up the boards. I may do a segment of the boards on the camera. I'm going to go, then we're going to start with the building and uh, getting the accessories going. So uh, one of the things that I found, you know, from my last video to now is that when I, uh, when I was talking last time about that cavern floor accessory mold, it was it was pretty they had some really neat things in there that I wasn't aware of even what they were you know I mentioned one part was a uh, could be a grinding stone and yes those could be a grinding stone I can make a grinding stone but what was neat is these are gravestones and what's awesome about this cast if you look right up here you see these little notches, you know, and you're almost like, I don't understand what those are for. Until you look at these pieces, and these are going to socket right into another piece. You know, there's, there's, reference, there's reference marks on the mold. So you see those two indentations and this right here? Oops. I thought they did. Oh, here we go. All right. But yeah, they do fit in there somehow because I may have grabbed, here's a finished one, and you can see how these notches fit one right after another with the little half moon cap. And then here's another one that I built right there. So um, I don't know if I have an oddball number of pieces right there, but let me look in my, look in the thing. Here we go. Here's, here's two of the correct ones right here. So if you look, you'll see the indentation right here. Um, piece of my Band-Aid. And on the back, you've got the two fins. And if you take this, you see they go right together like that, and you can glue them. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty neat. And then there's the half moon piece that goes on the top, that fits right on the top. So you can make the gravestones. Uh, what else was I playing with? Um, 
you know, the, the columns, you know, you can do the, for decoration, you can take that, you put the two halves together, and you got the ball on top, or you can take this and put this over here, you know, this looks like a pawn. I'm sure those two pieces right there are used for the chess set. Bruce has a beautiful project for a chess set. It just requires a whole bunch of molds on there, and so I'm collecting molds. You know, I, I would love to do that project, but that's going to be a really time-consuming project, and that, that's down the road somewhere. Um, back to the descent part. Now, the doors and the archways. Oh, wait, one other thing. The iron door. Here's the iron door right here together. So that came up looking really good. You know, you don't necessarily use it for this, but if you're doing your custom builds or anything like that, this is really nice. So this went together good. Um, the doors for descent. Yeah, this is your this is your typical door that you would you'd put on a little plastic stand. This is the Hearst Arts door. This is the frame, and this is the actual door. Now, on the instructions, you're actually painting all this separate. I just glued one of these together because I'm probably going to pop it apart or this will just be a, a sacrificial piece just to show you. But when it's all said and done, you know, you're going to put these together and that door is going to sit you know, just like this. You know, so you have the cardboard version and the Hearst Arts version. I really like the Hearst Arts version. So that can sit right here. Um, yeah, so that'll that'll sit down there like that. Uh, what else is nice is that you know for a room like this, it's a four by four. He has the plan so you can put just so it blocks off, you know, so it tells your players right off the bat you cannot walk this way to get to the other hallway behind it. So, and then if you've played the game, you know that there's rune bound doors. And so if you look at the instructions, you see that this is filled in. And they're red, and they're blue, and they're gold, and those are room locked doors. And I'm like, well, I don't know, do I put a little green stuff in there, something like that? No. What it is, is when I was pulling these molds out, I, let me get one out of here. It, I had no idea what that was for. And then I started looking at the pictures of his doors. And well, that you can paint any color. And basically, you can set it right. Glue, you're going to glue it right into the window, you know, over the cells, and turn that into your room lock door, which I thought was pretty neat because I hadn't, I had no idea why this little piece was coming out of that mold on there. So don't think this is scrap. If you happen to get that mold, you know, this is actually a legitimate piece. Um, so that's about it for the project this week. I'm going to do a part three, and the part three is just going to be fun stuff. Um, I want to talk about some future projects I got going on. I want to bring out some of that cavern floor accessory mold stuff and uh, just mock set it up to show you with other miniature systems and you know, just to talk about a few things. So for the Descent project, that's, this, that's really it for this week. Part three is just going to be a quick maybe seven, eight minutes on some fun stuff and uh, some just some stuff about me, the hobby that I like, the games that I play, and the things that I would like to continue with this channel. So hop on over to part three. If you're uh, done for the week, uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. If you like the videos, give it a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you.